this video, I'll be going through the concept of decomposition. Firstly, we'll start by looking at definition, and then we'll look at some examples, and some examples of activities in classrooms that you can try. Decomposition is the ability to break down a task into minute details so that we can clearly explain a process to another person or a computer, or even for our own benefit. If a problem is too big or complicated, we usually subdivide it until it's a series of smaller, more manageable tasks or problems. We solve each individually and hope that in combination, the sub-solutions can provide the whole solution. Many problems computer scientists are faced with are complex and can be broken into smaller tasks. This is the same for creating digital solutions. To create software or a digital technology, we need to explore components of the problem or task, then how we can address each to create an entire solution. A decomposition process might look something like this. Firstly, we could identify the main problem. We list major components, functions or tasks. We list subcomponents for each. Then we devise a plan or a process to address each task, which is our algorithm. And then we complete each subcomponent. Let's apply this process to see if we can break down a problem. Let's say I want to plant a new garden in my backyard, but I'm a novice gardener. What I might do is I might break down this problem into a series of smaller, more manageable tasks to follow. So I might look at the space I have, what I'd like to plant, the conditions that I have, the equipment that I need, and planting and care. And what I've done is I've developed a series of questions and processes to follow as well as some things that I might need to research. Now what I've done is I've organized these components into a sequence that I think would hopefully result in me having a garden in my backyard. So what I'd do is I'd follow this process, work through my questions, what I need to research, what I need to do, then hopefully I'll have a new garden at the end of the day. Some other everyday examples where we might apply decomposition is when we describe how to make our favourite meal. So we might break it into how to make the sauce, how to make the main component, and then how to make the dessert. Some other everyday examples might involve describing how to drive to your house, how to play a game, planning a dinner party, planning a presentation or a lesson. Can you think of any other problems or situations where you apply decomposition? What are some everyday decomposition examples that are familiar to children? Decomposing a problem frequently leads us to pattern recognition and generalisation and assists us with the ability to design an algorithm. Computer scientists use decomposition to ensure they address all aspects of the problem, to ensure that they are explicit in their instructions to the computer, as a framework for cost, effort and time estimation, and as a means to identify what needs to be done when, how and by who. We have some examples on this slide of how decomposition can be developed in class activities. In the early years, this might involve breaking tasks into minute stages, modelling and providing examples. In years three to four, this could involve developing strategies, identifying parameters perhaps, and what might be available to work with. For example, in Codebreaker, players have certain number of colours and peg spaces. In programming environments like Blockly, it might be the number of blocks or moves to work with. In years 5 to 6, students could apply decomposition to programming projects or other discipline projects, like what we did with the plan example. Decomposition is also valuable in team planning and group work and could provide a means to develop some very useful strategies. We have some examples here of how decomposition might be applied in other learning areas. For example, in math, it might involve planning how to approach a problem, breaking down the problem, the knowledge required, and some strategies that could be tried. In science, students could plan steps needed to undertake a science experiment, and this could include figuring out what equipment, research, and questions are required. In design and art, Students could break down steps to create something. What is their goal? What is needed? What parts are needed to be done to achieve the goal? In literacy, students 
could decompose or plan the events of a story. And this could also be included as a strategy for reading comprehension. One important aspect to problem decomposition is how we go about breaking down the problem. Graphic organisers may provide students with a practical template to help them organise ideas. Some other examples of structuring ideas involve brainstorming, lists and concept mapping. Decomposition is an important technique that we'll use in combination with abstraction to develop algorithms. We'll be exploring how this is done in our algorithms module.